What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War as Denmark. It's been a while since last time, and that's mostly my fault. It can't be anyone else's, really. Um, mostly I have been getting distracted, which is why I haven't uh, been recording this as often as I should have. But it's about time I got this finished up, so we're going to do that. We have 57 turns remaining. If we can knock out 5 turns, 5 turns in a, um, in a part, then we only have... 10 parts left. So let's it continue from where we left off. You. We have a lot of crusading armies coming towards us. I don't think they're going to attack any of my cities along the way, them being crusading armies and all. Uh, we need spies in here. Uh, we already have a spy building. Good. It's been a while. We will see you, there. you can join up here. Mom, Mom. And you can do the same. There's barely an army left in there. We have an army in Florence. We also have a spy here. We'll put him down towards Rome. Rome is completely empty. So we should really capitalise on the opportunity and go out and attack. Really. I mean, it's only got three people in it. Can you sneak in there? No chance. Okay then. Well, there's no army around here that's, that can potentially take Florence. But we'll get these units here. Move them to Florence. Genoa can just build some more militia. And does it have any spy problems? It does, so we'll get it a uh, spy as well. Um, we can blend some of these units together. I don't like doing this, but uh, it'd be more beneficial if we have four units. And then these ones, including the cannon, and them. Maybe not him. We'll take uh, yes. blend those together and we'll take these lot. Yes. And they can go out and try to take Rome. To Gonna have to get some troops here, but we should be okay. Tomorrow. At least for a few turns. It's only on blue. Which is not great, but I don't think there'll be unrest until the next turn. Yes. Now that our spy can't see anything, which is good. Apparently they also own Actually, do they? Is that a borderline? I'm not sure. It is actually, isn't it? So I think. Oh yes, yeah, that city there. So after these two cities, the Pope will be gone, which will be amazing. In fact, should we do it now rather than waiting? I mean, we have do we have siege equipment built here. Not yet. We'll have to get that built. We'll hire some mercenaries. Might not be such a bad idea. What are minute arms like? Not that expensive, all things considered. They're a tad more expensive than we have. And they're only slightly weaker. Oh, uh, sure, we'll get one lot of them. Probably have to get rid of them eventually, but for now they'll be fine. France, no doubt going to attack us soon. Let's build units here. Make sure we have a nice, solid army going. Frankfurt needs an army to help out with its unrest problems. Hamburg has been building one. Yes, they can Lord. head up to Stettin. You built some for protection. Okay, I think we're in a good situation. That is a fairly large Hungarian army there. Can't retrain just yet. Okay, let's... Ooh. Well, he can't get to there just yet. So we'll send him back to Krakow for the time being. And then we'll send him out. Uh, once again, in fact, I'm yeah. Yes, Lord. And how are you doing? You really need to lay siege to Budapest Come at this point. Courage, Looks like we'll be having a battle. So I'll join you all on the battlefield. Right then, here we are. Let's get this underway, shall we? I'm not liking where we're set up, so let's put ourselves over here instead. A bit better. All I'm in a decided to stretch out, so we'll get them all into a more cohesive position. Again, I don't I don't want to spend too much time doing this because I do want to get on with recording with my turns. Okay, we've like got men coming you. through here. What are these? Just crossbowmen and stuff like that. So we'll immediately send all our men over there, and we'll just pile on them as quickly as possible. 
What are they? Spearmen, spearmen, feudal knights, something else. Well, we've got plenty of units, so we'll send every type onto every single one of them. That will take a couple off and send them off to the crossbowmen. Just want to make sure we slaughter as many as possible as quickly as possible. Probably going to lose some to those spearmen. Spearmen have advantages against cavalry, after all. Although they're only town militia, so they don't actually have bonuses, do they? Because they're town militia. And there's... Yeah, so we should be able to kill them all quite easily. Now that our infantry's arriving, we'll drag our cavalry out. Make sure they're going in. Go after them. Make sure to run them down. Looks like some of them are going to get away. Unfortunately. Well, that's that first problem sorted out. What do we do? Slain him. Good. Okay, next major army is over here. Apparently this is a crusading one. I'm seeing a lot of Parvis crossbowmen actually. Some town militia. Yeah, that's a ton of Parvis crossbowmen. Just charge them down as quickly as possible. Try and go after their general as well. The enemy army runs. We must pursue and hunt them down. We're not going to focus on killing all of them. However tempting that may be. After all, some of them are going to get away. Oh, those Hungarian nobles might be a problem. I should turn that volume a bit on my side. Yeah, Hungarian nobles, not great. We'll just charge that general, actually, since he's not moving. Well, that's a lot of arrows coming in. Kill off those Parvis crossbowmen. One lot of you go after those Hungarian nobles. That will trap them in place. And we'll flood them with swordsmen. Cavalry keep chasing down the Parvis crossbowmen. You lot focus on their general. I'm going to have to slow this down because I am playing far too quickly for me to keep, be able to keep up. All of you kill the general. I want him dead. Also, our general could come down here as well. The enemy general is no true man. He He's fleeing. Good. Maybe we can catch him. Uh, men are doing very good against us Parvis, which is not great. Let's get a couple infantry squads in. You three will do. Uh, not that one. Oh no, they killed them all. Did they? No, they didn't. There's one left. You three, go after them. Kill their general, if possible. Okay, we got him. We even captured him. Good. Now we only have the army left. The wonders of having tons and tons of infantry, and they have nothing but Parvis. Which apparently really makes a big difference. Who would have thought? We'll leave our general for the cleanup if there's any cleanup necessary. Yeah, one guy can get away, his unit won't heal, so I don't really care. We'll make sure we get our general in. At a distance, obviously. Don't want him charging in. That'll just be messy. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, Go after those Hungarian nobles. In fact, oh, the Hungarian nobles have straight up run. Okay, good for them. Don't know how they managed to get past our general, but whatever. We have our cavalry en route. Continue. There's that general's bodyguard. Looks like he's still on his way. And we've won. Very good. Lost a fair decent amount of troops, but we killed three armies. Now apparently this was a one-to-one -one ratio battle. Don't know why. But then again, the AI isn't particularly bright. So... They lost 100 men, they lost a lot more. 400? 500? 
570 I think that was so quite good quite a good outcome ransom already accepted well that's kind of a problem now we have to seize the city well we'd have to do it anyway so I suppose it's not such a big deal okay then we have money now so we can build stuff should we choose I would like to retrain these units here they're retraining you guys need retraining as well apparently we can't do that here we don't have the knights stable have to get that and we have three lots of heavy units there which we could probably move out but Milan did declare war on us so we actually have to build an army here and soon because Milan's coming for us but it looks like they don't have many cities so we hopefully will be okay probably want to get a priest here as well but we can use an assassin so let's get rid of that witch Do not fear the unexplained. okay I think we're good so let's end the turn and hope for the best Venetian assassins we'll have to get rid of Venice no death scream Venetian spy our spies are doing their job man they've got a lot of assassins they've got like six I suppose we have a fair amount as well didn't do anything up in Muscovy, I don't think. Have to make sure I do that. We are fighting a war on many fronts, after all. We still need to get to Jerusalem, actually. But I suppose that won't take too long. I mean, it's a sh journey by ship through the Mediterranean, and after we've destroyed Port, not Portugal, um, after we've destroyed the Papacy, the Papacy and Venice, we won't have much competition, I don't think. Hungary might pose a problem. Maybe Sicily as well. We'll see. Maybe Milan? It's difficult to say. Because I don't know what the uh, rest of that area looks like. And I keep forgetting we're at war with Scotland as well. Someone died. Okay then, let's read this. Venetian agent, Papal States agent, a new homeland. The Timurids in the Antioch region. Antioch. Antioch. I'm sure I know where that is. I think it's down here, isn't it? Antioch. I'm not sure. Hey, we're the strongest faction. I'm honestly not that surprised. Recruitment. Cardinal promotion. Cardinal dies. Unlucky for him. Let's get a spy here to help get rid of that unrest. Because good God, it is rife. We'll even get a tavern to help with that can't really build much else. Uh, we can retrain them though, so we might as well. We at war with France yet? No, allies with France apparently. I still don't trust them. Never trust your allies. They always plan to kill you. Uh, we have assassins here, don't we? We have two assassins. Well, let's get rid of their assassins. Don't want them hanging around causing problems. 59. Good. Hey, we can straight a sie siege this place. Why can we do that? Why can we ass assault it? I don't get it. It says we can assault. Well, it'll be fine. We'll just siege it a couple of turns. Speaking of... That's got barely anything left in it. My Lord. Do you want to go for the assault? I should have checked the population. Didn't do that. Probably going to exterminate. We are yeah, just exterminate. Honor and Makes them happy. Get rid of the squalor. Might as well do it. It's not even that well upgraded. All things considered. Let's get a Let's get what? Um, doesn't even have any good infantry. We'll get a city watch. So now this is the last city they have, and they'll be gone, which will be amazing. I would have destroyed the pope for the like fifth time. Okay, Venetian assassins. 
There's a lot up here. Who is Start my bumping target? them off. Good. You're under siege, we'll just leave that be under siege. Don't see any armies. Got a spy there. Yes, Lord. You need to get up here. We, have the of uh, we need to retrade units here, like immediately. Also, need to repair the place. Because apparently we didn't repair it. Which is not a good thing. I'd love to get some Norse Axemen, but we can't do that just yet. Uh, can we repair like the really badly damaged ones? We can't. So we'll go with the 13. There's a case to be made actually for blending some together and just uh, building new ones instead. Yes, my lord. We'll blend some oh, of the really bad king. ones together. Yes. So we have at least some full units. And then we can retrain the worse off ones. And maybe build something else like some crossbowmen, just for some range defense. Ooh, hello! That's a big Venetian army, but it's mostly trash, so shouldn't be too concerned. Rigor has some good wall defenses. They are mostly archers and mercs, apparently. Hmm, I have to do that. I have to build. What's the scariest thing they have? Nothing. Okay. Maybe fanatics? Let's get some cavalry. And there goes all our money, by the way. How are we looking over here? Uh, we need to build an army over here, don't we? Because that is a general coming towards us, and he has troops. Justice, yes. justice, you attacked me. Try to kill him. Nope. Didn't expect anything, actually. Uh, is there any chance of... No, I don't like it. I was wondering if we could maybe build some units up here rather than relying on what we have. I mean, we could if we cancelled construction of some other things, which wouldn't be a bad idea. We don't have anything building in Metz, Milan, Genoa, Bologna, Florence. That's not going to cost anything yet because we haven't actually ended the turn. Uh, Frankfurt. It really needs that. And that, to be fair. We'll cancel that, because it can do without. We need troops, is what we need. So we need Norse Axemen. And Swordsmen. We could even get hop, hop, Hospitality here, but we're not going to do that. It needs just basic infantry to uh, beef itself up with. Any spies here? We do, we're just going to have to rely on him. Novgorod has a decent army in it, thanks to Helsinki. I will mm. defeat you honorably, my we should be able to hold Riga. My lord. You need to head up here. Uh, yes. You need to head across here. Ma Join up here. We go oh, make sure we we're training them. Oh, we'll get the 20. And there goes our money again. But that's not surprising. That's been sieged down. Our spy can have a peer down here. We're neutral with Sicily, which is good. Okay, then that looks fine. No problems this side. A bit worried about Milan. A lot of Genoese crossbow militia. Which are a bit scary. Uh, we have armies here ready, just in case France tries anything. Don't know how I feel about that army. Let's top it up a little bit. There we go. Looks more scary. Frankfurt has problems, but then again, Frankfurt always has problems. Thanks to the rife spy population it has and squalor. It's because we have it on low tax rates. I mean, technically, it's really unhappy, so I could just put it on very high. It wouldn't make much difference. In fact, somehow it gets rid of squalor. And it stops growth. Sure, we'll put it on very high, why not? Let's go crazy. If it rebels, then it rebels. I'll have to just take it back. Oh, apparently our spy just died to rebels. And then it attacks. The enemy besieged us! A mistake to be expected. Not live to regret.
killing my rebels for me. How nice of them. And that's just a squad of crossbowmen. Scary. Are you... Really? You attacked Milan? You not see the army in Bologna? Let's say mistakes were made on his part. The enemy are outside the walls. Let us also, he's left Dijon them. completely undefended. Really, the army's sieging up Bern? I know he's making some weird decisions attacking with like three units at my really well defended forts. We must fight or Perhaps they expect me to the accidentally forget about them and surrender. Which could happen. Hey, England took back Nottingham. England's actually doing something. Congratulations. It lost the entire of England at one point. Well, good for it. It's a pity we're at war. A thieves guild in Bologna. Sure. Three settlement procedures. The pioneer of paint, a Flemish painter, Jan van Eck, <laughs> is now championing an outlandish concept to produce paint created from seed oils rather than Tempera egg yolk. It claims these oil paints dry much more slowly, allowing the artist to take all the time they need to perfect each stroke. Huh. Routing in Frankfurt. I think our spy died. Yeah, he did. Get a fresh one. I don't care. Okay, settlement besieged, besieged, and besieged. Army in Bologna. Needs to go destroy those hardest crossbowmen. And she was nothing but cavalry. That can't end badly. Can we get a, some infantry over there as well? We can. Let's do that. That's right, you run away. English agent found in Frankfurt. Stockholm can upgrade. Rioting and Cardinal. What do you have to say? Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Seriously, I don't know why the army attacked. Wow. Really? I don't know what he was thinking. He literally had no chance of defeating me. Also, France has left. Good, you've gone back home. Oh, hello. He has cannons. Let's go fight him on the battlefield, why not? Right then, here we go. Somehow, their men in their fort didn't come out to say hello. I'm a bit surprised at that. Do they have any infantry? No, they don't. Oops, on their part. Let's get all of you to charge in. They'll provide support for the huge amount of cavalry that's going to go in. And I'm not going to get my general to go in. We do have to be careful because they do have some scary looking cannons. What are those culverins? No, a grand bombard. In fact, they're charging it up. Which means they're probably going to get shot by a cannon. Which is going to hurt a lot. Oh yeah, they're already fleeing. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we that will was the enemy. That's an amazing sight the to see. Just no everything fleeing. We must pursue and hunt them down. Just everything running in a wave of cavalry. Heavy, he heavy cav for you. What can they say? We only lost six men. I wonder if they fell off the horses. It wouldn't surprise me. Let's make sure there's no survivors. Just to drive the point home. That was one of the fastest battles I've ever fought. Uh, we'll make sure our cavalry actually do catch them all. I want none to survive. Hopefully we can make that happen. Go after them. Our general is... One of the cavalry's up there chasing. What are you fighting? Tell me you're fighting something. No, you're not. Don't lie. Go after them. How are you doing? You've caught him. Good. Go after the bombard crew. No survivors once again. And good. A nice quick battle. We lost six men. Five, in fact.
because I'm guessing we healed one. Yet one of the house cars recovered from his injuries of a crossbow bolt to the face. Hmm. Four thousand, really? Ransom. Well, they only have themselves to blame. And thankfully, we lost nothing in terms of units. Which is even better because that means we now have a full army to siege their cap. Well, is it their capital? It's one of their cities. I'm hoping Paris takes this opportunity to go after their uh, cities again and take them back. And build one unit there because I want to make sure I actually build units further up in Russia because we have this guy walking around. Can we kill him at all? 11%? So 1 in 10. Nope, no luck. We have cab there, so we can deal with it that way. This isn't ideal. I'm hoping they'll attack next turn. If not, then we're gonna have to take matters into our own hands. Speaking of, well, let's get this army out to provide backup. Whether it'll get there in time and actually help is questionable. Uh, you need to just stop where you're going and join up together. Don't know where he's gonna go. Hopefully he won't attack my army, although I doubt he will. Speaking of army, the papal army is on the way. Somehow we don't know what units are in here, despite the fact we're sieging it. Well, we'll let them get closer to, uh, closer to our cities, and then we'll attack. Frankfurt, yeah. No much is gonna happen here. Oh, you're suddenly happy. Okay, good. I'll do that then. Uh, in turn. Oh, he attacked my army. What does he have? Mercenary spearmen. Sure, we'll fight that on the map. We'll see if we can win. I just read an interesting message when, as I uh, was loading into this battle. It was a message from some sort of clergyman, and he said, "Kill them all. God will recognise his own." I'm pretty sure he wouldn't. Anyway, let's get this battle rolling. There's a good chance we won't win, but we also have a chance of winning. So, let's just see how it goes. We have less infantry than they do. We have less men in general. But our, inf our men are not mercenaries and are quite powerful in their own rights. So, provided we play our cards correctly, we hopefully will be able to make something happen. Just go into battle because the rest of them are going to join in. You attack them. Get around the back quickly. I'll actually go after the general. How are the casualties looking? Um, not good. I think we're losing. 17, 16. The generals are dropping quick though. But then again, so are our men. Where's their actual general, general? Where is he? There he is. If only we could prioritise targets. Speaking of, they have a cavalry charge. Run away. So you, you can now disengage. Get around this side. How many men do they have left in that army? Oh, We're gonna lose now. Definitely gonna lose. We can't kill their general at this point, I don't think. I'm hoping we can just inflict casualties. Yep, there go our men. Focus on their general. Just 100% on their general. If I'm dying, I'm taking his general with me. Guess not. Yeah. Good chance of that happening, but we killed equal numbers and they had more men. Just, I think, poor use of cavalry on my part. Still. Their units are surprisingly tough. What can be said? Speaking of, I'm gonna have to do this next time. Oh, they have so much merc. I'm going to have to deal with this next time. So, I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.